Murder suspect Caitlin Armstrong is back in the U.S. this morning, facing charges after 43 days on the run. The 34-year-old fugitive was met at the Houston airport by U.S. Marshals. The U.S. Marshal Service, they're the premier agency in finding people, and, 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 uh, and when you do it uh, as well as they do, it's only a matter of time. This is Mariah Wilson. Armstrong is accused of killing professional cyclist Anna Mariah Wilson. Both women were romantically involved with cyclist Colin Strickland, according to the arrest warrant. Armstrong was found in Costa Rica at a beach hostel, which she had apparently been hiding in plain sight. She'd cut and colored her hair, and it appears may have even undergone cosmetic surgery to alter her appearance. As authorities say, she was found with bandages and bruises on her face. She couldn't disguise uh, her physical uh, appearance any further, you know, to maybe obtain you know, tattoos and stuff like that. So we got her at a, at a good time uh, to we're still able to identify her based upon those uh, small changes to really throw off law enforcement officials. Authorities say after being questioned by police in May, Armstrong fled Texas and flew from Newark to Costa Rica using a fraudulent passport. The former yoga teacher had been taking yoga classes in Costa Rica and possibly even teaching which authorities told NBC News helped them track her down. Try and contact him on the ground. He's behind this location. On the day of Wilson's murder, she had been swimming with Colin Strickland, Armstrong's boyfriend, according to the arrest record. Wilson and Strickland had dated briefly at one point, according to reports. Wilson was found dead on the bathroom floor of her friend's house with multiple gunshot wounds, according to marshals. And now, after a 43-day search... Caitlin Armstrong is behind bars, accused of the brutal murder. Armstrong is being held at the Harris County Jail in Houston, waiting transfer to Austin. For now, her first court date is still pending, and her bond has been set at $3.5 million. Craig? It's a wild story. Uh, Rahima Ellis for us. Rahima, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.